Hey everyone, John here. Just wanted to make a quick video showing you all my newest Sea Monkey tank. It is the Sea Monkey NASA Space Shuttle Discovery Expedition tank. That is too long of a name. We're just going to call it the Space Shuttle, all right? It is right here in front of me. It is pretty cool. Uh, if you saw my last video, I did an unboxing of it. Uh, but you know what? I think it's cooler when you get sea monkeys in there. And guess what? I've got sea monkeys in there now. This is tank number 12 for me. I won't go into all the details of all of them in this video, but there they are real quick. And my messy desk. Sorry about that. But uh, here's the one we want to talk about. The Space Shuttle. Uh, I think this is from 1998. If you go watch my last Sea Monkey video, the unboxing one, I know I got the date right in there. So uh, if it's not from 1998, it's right around there. So this is, you know, pretty old. You know, it might be 97 now that I think about it. Don't quote me on that. 97, 98, something like that. It is an old Sea Monkey tank. Uh, I got this new in the box. We did the unboxing. It came with all the packets like you get in other Sea Monkey tanks. I tried to hatch the eggs, even though they were, you know, close to 25 years old. Um, they didn't hatch. You know, I put in packet one, the purifier, packet two, the instant live eggs. Uh, waited a few days. Nothing. I know... You know, you can wait for six weeks, so, so, sometimes then eggs might hatch, but I mean, these eggs were literally, you know, pretty close to 25 years old. Uh, I've tried hatching old eggs before from some of my other tanks, never really had any luck with them. So after waiting a few days, I did wait a few days, I, I dumped it and I purchased a new uh, starter kit. That's a kit that's got packets one, two, and three in a, in a feeding spoon. I buy those at Hobby Lobby. There's a Hobby Lobby a mile from my house, so I got it for $7.99 there. Put in the new water purifier, put in the eggs uh, 24 hours later, and guess what? We've got baby sea monkeys. Um, it's been five days since we put in packet number two. Uh, I want to talk about this tank a little bit, show you guys what we've got going on, and maybe we can see if we can see some baby sea monkeys. So one thing that I thought was cool with this tank um, was that it's got an aerator built in. So what you're supposed to be able to do is push down on the black nose cone like that and it's supposed to pump air down through that white tube behind that sea monkey astronaut and bubbles are supposed to come out out of that t-bar looking thing in there um it worked for about a day and then it quit working so i i looked at it i couldn't figure out where the leak in the airflow was i tried to fix it no luck i mean it's old plastic old glue in there you know so who knows? I'm not really disappointed or surprised that it's not working. I mean, it's a little bit of a bummer, but whatever. I mean, I'm not too pissed or anything. But uh, so now I've got a different air uh, aeration system going on. If you've seen some of my other videos, you're probably familiar with how I've got the aeration going on most of my tanks. Uh, I've got a couple air pumps. Uh, I've got splitters and valves on there to control the airflow. And then you can see in here, I've got a little tiny air stone. I got that little tiny air stone from Amazon. You can see we got bubbles coming out right now, coming out in the back. Uh, I got like a dozen of these little tiny air stones, which are perfect for sea monkey tanks. It was like eight bucks or six bucks or something. They were under a dollar a piece. They were dirt cheap, really good deal. And they're the smallest ones that I've seen. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. So we've got that. You can see there's a tube. I just sort of have it sticking in the side there. And that tube goes down. There it goes. All right, we got a splitter right there. And you can see there's a little knob right there. That's how you can control the airflow. There goes the tube. That's a USB pump. I got that on eBay for about eight bucks. And that's plugged into a USB charger, just like a, a phone charger, basically. Pretty cool, right? Really easy to use. You just unplug the USB when you don't want it. When you don't want it going. So yeah, that's what we've got going on here. We'll zoom in a little bit, see if we can see some baby sea monkeys. I know sometimes it's hard to get them on video, but let's see what we can see in here. Oh, I see some. Look at those guys swimming up towards the top. We got baby sea monkeys up there. So they're growing. Um, what we're seeing in this tank so far, uh, at least from my experience, is pretty typical of a you know five day old colony. You know, we've probably got 20 or so babies in there at least, if not more. Uh, can't really get them all on video. 
There's some towards, towards the bottom too. I see a lot towards the top right now though. But yeah, this is great. I uh, like these guys. They're doing well. And one thing that I don't like about this tank, which I did know going into purchasing it, I heard this from someone else uh, in the Sea Monkey community online on Facebook or Reddit, um, was that they're sort of harder to see in this tank than some of the others. So when you look at the back of this tank, you've got a really cool looking backdrop, right? It looks like the space shuttle. This is Amazing Life Sea Monkeys, and you got a graphic back there. Well, sea monkeys are usually easier to see when you can have a light source coming from behind the tank. Hence, when you look at the rest of my tanks here, I've got those light strips on the wall. So it sort of illuminates the tanks from behind. Look at that. Easy to see these guys, right? Yeah. Easy to see these guys. Easy to see these guys. Not so easy to see these ones. So I've got this Philips Hue desk lamp sitting up here on the window ledge, pointed in there. And it's helping, and uh, that helps keep them warm too. But it's not as easy to see them. But uh, we've got a, you know, from my experience, it's about the same number that I've seen with other colonies that are half a week old, you know, five days old. So that's great. They're growing at a pretty normal rate. Hopefully they'll survive and uh, we'll have a good colony here. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll do another video soon, you know, showing all 12 tanks, going over what they are. Uh, for anyone that's interested. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff that real YouTubers say. I'm not really a real YouTuber. I'm just a guy with a hobby. And people like these videos for some reason. So if you're expecting good production quality, go look at some other Sea Monkey YouTubers. There's some amazing people out there. I've become friends with some of them and they've got some incredible content. It's not just me. So make sure you look them up on YouTube. A lot of them are on TikTok and Instagram as well. I pretty much stick to YouTube and Instagram, but uh, I just try to keep it real. Just recording this stuff with my phone, showing you guys what I've got going on. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you got questions, feel free to comment below or send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.